Yeah, it's too early for Spencer. He's not happy that I have to drag him out of bed. Oh my goodness. We're in the 20s. Uh... We have had to kick Ella out of her room so that Brevin has a designated workplace, a space for him. Into the room. See ya. See ya. after 6.30 is about the time I start my day, um, or time I'm supposed to. Um, been times where I've been kind of slacking. 6.30 is when I'm supposed to start my day, and I start with some exercise, but my parents go to the gym at 5.40, and I cannot get out of bed as early as 8 as early as they do to go to the gym and so what I usually do is I will go walking but the problem is I cannot leave the house without a companion and so I have pulled Spencer out of bed bright and early to go walking with me so yeah so yeah we're, we're gonna go walking all right, so here we are. <laughs> Walking. That's about it. We may Up run. Up the hill. Uh, we may get tired. We may get tired. The, the blood journey, pumping. The journey yeah. ahead of us is treacherous. We might treacherous. die. We're not going to die. I'm dumb. But yeah, that's that's basically all we're doing right now is just walking. Yeah, um, that's it. Dude, my throat's drier than the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Oh. Really? Yeah. It's uh. It's been about 30 currently minutes. I thought I was saying it, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. It's uh been about uh, 30 minutes now. We are still walking. Yeah. We're That's about we're, it. We're gonna. We're on our way home now. Um. So I can get ready for the day and hop on at eight o'clock with my companion and do companionship study. And so um, I can go back to bed. It's yeah. too early. <laughs> yeah, it's too early for Spencer. He's not happy that I have to drag him out of bed. No, it's fine. Okay, well, anyway. Companion study so, yeah, with my companion. I absolutely <laughs> love my companion, Elder <laughs> Allen. He is okay, so sorry. funny. Um, and then after, after that, I have an hour between companion study and my first class. So that's how I start my morning, or how I'm supposed to start my morning. Um, but yeah. So thank you again, Spencer, for being my companion and for taking this little stroll through our neighborhood. Sure thing. Been exhilarating. Yeah, you ready to do the same thing tomorrow? I'm going to MRT tomorrow. Ah, boo. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm getting up at 5.40 tomorrow. Oof. Jason's daily job. I have one job. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not Better mine. Not screwed up. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're in the 20s. Uh, yeah. Well, Jason and I got home from our workout class about the exact same time that Brevin and Spencer were coming down the hill finishing up their walk. And so he's downstairs getting ready for the day. And while he's doing that, I'm just going to kind of let you know a little bit about our setup and what we have going for the Home Missionary Training Center. Most mornings, we all just have a shake for breakfast, but Brevin today said that he wanted to have vanilla wafers in milk. So <laughs> usually Jason makes a shake for Brevin so he can have that ready to go for breakfast, but we don't have to do that today because he's just going to put a bunch of vanilla wafers in a bowl. And pour some milk over it but we do have our little setup here we had to make some changes because Jason has still been working remotely our computer was downstairs so we have had to kick Ella out of her room so that Brevin has a designated workplace a space for him to come in and do all of his lessons on zoom that we can kind of close the door and he can kind of have a quiet working environment so this is what we've got set up as you can see, we've moved Ella's bed out. She still has her um, bookcase here. We're going to have to make some changes. When Brevin leaves for Boston, we will completely move Ella into his into Garrett's room and Garrett downstairs. Right now, Garrett and Ella are sharing 
I'd show you right now, but they're asleep. But here's his desk with all of his materials. We've got a Portuguese vocabulary and phrases book. He's got basic core manuals, Portuguese for missionaries. It's kind of cool. He also has a set of scriptures in the Portuguese language. It's just kind of pretty. It's a pretty language. I've had a chance to listen to him speak it a little bit and I love it. Um, he has his English scriptures here and then his two study guides the Preach My Gospel in English and then of course in Portuguese. And he's just, this is his notes. I love. He's been taking notes as he does all of his classes and personal study and companion study. And already this book is almost filled up, so we're gonna. We might have to get him a new one here sometime soon, but this is his setup and he spends a lot of time each day sitting in his chair looking at that screen. And we also hung his Brazil flag behind him, so that's a nice backdrop. Are you going into companionship study right now or are yeah, you going to eat something first? Because I exercise from... 6.30 to around 7, and I get home and I shower and get ready. I usually go into companion study first. Okay. And I come out and eat breakfast and take it up on the couch. There you and, go. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna Yeah, it's go log so at 8 o'clock, that's when you've decided to do companion study, and you two were able to determine that time frame on your own. Yes. Like based, based on your schedules. Uh huh. Based on our schedules, and it worked better for him at 10 his time because there's a two hour difference between us. And so I was like, sweet, I'll be getting up at 8, logging on, logging on at 8. All right. So. Okay, well, into the room. Into the room. See ya. See ya. That's pretty much what it is. He goes in there, he closes the door, and then we don't see him until he has his breaks. It is. Just after two o'clock, Brevin got out of his classes. The first round it was about 150, right? Yeah. So Jason's say. making grilled cheese turkey sandwich for Brevin That's for lunch. Better than the cheese Garrett put on his nachos. <laughs> oh man. That's true. It reeked. You've had your companionship study, and then you had your, what is it? The next block of Zoom lessons. Three hours of Portuguese. So what does the schedule look like for your companionship study? We kind of talk about um, the goals we have as a companionship with like people we're talking to and teaching. Start planning kind of what we want to say the next time we, we meet with them uh, because most of it is translating our thoughts from English to Portuguese. So you do a little bit of language study with them? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of like like lesson prep. Lesson prep, gospel study, and language study. Uh, and we do all of that within an hour. Some calendaring too, or no? Uh, or... We do weekly planning. We kind of <clears throat> set up our um, next appointments. My companion's neighbor is agreeing to meet with us, and I haven't met her yet, and I'm super excited to because she's a native of Brazil. And I've heard she's super, super sweet. And we are going to be- Fail, <laughs> fail. Epic What's happening? <laughs> Time out. <laughs> what was right. that? I yeah. don't know. Going to be meeting with her on Sunday. So I might have to go to church with grandma and grandpa just so that I'm available in the evening. Yeah. yeah. So you do companionship study every day except for Sunday. Yeah. Even on your P days, which isn't required, well, but you guys will want to. We don't do much studying in our companionship on P days. You that's, just visit? Yeah. Oh, well, that's I, good that's too. That's what we found out. We found out, um, we get on and then we we're like, okay, how'd, like, how'd the week go for you? I was like, yeah, it was good. A lot of Portuguese went over my head, but yeah, it was good. Okay. Like, same, me too. Now you <laughs> have to share with our viewers the connection with your companion that you discovered. We were born on the exact same day in the exact same hospital an hour apart. We thought that was really funny. That's awesome because, because he lives in he, he lives, lives in Cincinnati, Cincinnati now. Ohio. But that, that wasn't the only thing we, that we had in common. We got our call to serve the exact same day, February 9th, and we're going to the same mission. I got reassigned to Boston while he got reassigned to Mesa, Arizona, but we're going to the same place in Brazil, hopefully when I can get my visa and when um, COVID allows. 
Yeah. But you also have the same number of siblings. Same number of siblings. You're the, both the oldest. I believe we're both the oldest. Crazy. He's super cool, funny. He says the funniest things. Yeah. While keeping the straightest faces. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> just, ah, uh, I love He's him clever. so much. He's so funny. I love him so much. Yeah. Well, what's kind of funny is we are going through old video footage that dad took at the nursery the day, the night you were born, and he panned across all of the nursery. We're doing some investigation yeah. work. We're doing some investigative work because he panned across all of the nursery and we see all of the baby bassinets and he turns around the corner and there's a baby bee like just barely brought into the nursery kind of next to him that we get a glimpse of. So we're gonna see if that's Elder Allen. If it is, that would be so crazy. Such a coincidence. So we've texted him and we're waiting to see what his dad was wearing because we have this footage of a father next to a bassinet that you briefly see. You don't see his face, you just see what he's wearing. I'm kind of hoping it's him. Me too. Just because that would be super cool. If it's not, that's okay. The story's still super cool that you were born on the same night. There was a storm that night. There were lots of babies in the nursery. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. The drop in barometric pressure sent a lot of women into labor. I didn't know that could happen, so. Yeah, well, now you do. Now you do. The, the, more, you, the, you, more, learn, you, the more you know. So basically, um, language study sounds exactly like it sounds, right? It's exactly like it sounds, except you're working with a district. Mm -hmm. How many people are in your district? There are eight of us. It consists of me, Elder Allen, Elder Brewer, Elder Jensen, Sister Matson, Sister Finley, Sister Bancroft, and Sister Peterson. They're all the best. I love them so very much. Okay, so after you eat your lunch, which I am going to let you do. Sorry, I should probably stop talking to you so you can eat your lunch because your time in between is kind of short. After you eat your lunch, you get back in the room, and what is that? Three more Three hours. Three more hours of Portuguese. Learning. Is there like culture study as well? Like, do you talk about things like that? I kind love. Of. A little bit. I mean, um, me and Elder Allen do that in our companion study too. America Cup was the other night, and mm. Brazil played against Argentina, and I guess that is like a really it's a big deal. Big rivalry. Yeah, you're going to have to start watching soccer. I'm going to have to start watching we soccer. Did. We watched the game. I did fall asleep <clears throat> during it. Um, I didn't fall asleep. I did. I totally fell asleep. After Argentina scored the first goal, Brazil couldn't do anything after that. For like 45 minutes, I fell asleep. It's kind of sad that Argentina beat Brazil. It was 1-0. Yeah. Darn it. Sad depending on who you root for, huh? Yeah. Congratulations to Argentina. Messi. Oh yeah, that's why. Yeah. He finally got a championship. He finally got a championship trophy, so. That's cool. Yeah. So with that last block of time, your uh, Portuguese study, it's with your district again, or? Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So I have two classes, three hours for the first block, and then lunch, and then three more hours with my district, and then, and then I'm done for the day. And just for fun, You've only been working on learning the Portuguese language for about a month now, right? Uh, two and a half weeks? Yeah. Well, two and a half weeks oh, he has intensively, but you had some pre-lessons before. Oh. Did you want to say something in Portuguese or is that really putting you on the spot? I'm trying to think of what I can say. Does um translate? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I say um a lot, okay? I get that. I'm just, it's my thinking process. Isn't there think. a, isn't it's there a spiller a, word. Well, there's a word in Portuguese for um, I'm sure. It's probably a. Eh. So, or in, it's in town. In town. Except it's longer to say in town. In than Japanese, home. it's like, eto. Yeah, because in Portuguese, it's in town. Okay, hi, my name's Elder Park. Uh, uh, let me eat. <gasps> yes, can you say that? That would be funny. I don't know how to say let me eat, but. Um, I want to eat. Okay, okay, I think I can say that. Um, Olá, o meu nome é Elder Park. Uh, e. Eu quero. Com comer. A comida. I want to eat the food. I think that's what it is. Alright. Yes. <laughs> eat the food. Eat the food. Eat the food. Brevin finished his MTC lessons at 6 o'clock. And now we're having dinner together, which is awesome. We have 30, no, 29 more family dinners together. Dad's pausing, because I told him pause for just a second. 
smart Alec. Okay, you can eat, <laughs> just eat. So basically the rest of the evening, Brevin enjoys dinner with us and then we just have some family time before he checks in for the night at around 10 o'clock, 10.30. And that's it. That's pretty much the MTC Missionary Training Center schedule. At home. At home. And we all get to share the experience with them. It's kind of awesome. We'll see you later. Bye. I love you.